Hey guys, welcome back. So I've been looking for ways that I can get these videos done and out to you faster. Uh, and one idea that I had was we should watch some YouTube tutorials together. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna start a new thing. It's gonna be called Watch and Sketch. So for our first Watch and Sketch, I chose a video called Cartooning 101 Number One. Uh, and it's about 24 minutes long. So I'm gonna chop it up into parts A, B, C, D. We'll just kind of see how long it goes. Uh, I'm going to show you the tutorial video right here. I'm going to show you what I'm drawing right here. Uh, and then we're going to go through it and hopefully learn stuff together. Enjoy. Let's hop into it. The first thing of any head on a human design that makes it up is going to be a circle. That's going to be the jumping off point, the starting point of any head. So we'll just draw a circle right here on the page. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to draw a vertical line to basically split this head up into two symmetrical sections. We've got a left-hand side and a right-hand side that are both, well, pretty much the, uh, the same size. My line was a little bit off there. So this breaks everything up just straight down the center line. Now, the next thing we wanna do is we wanna draw a, another line, and this one's gonna be in the center going horizontally. And this is going to break this into four. So now we've got four equal sections based on this head. Now, the next part is we're going to go down and we're going to break this bottom part into two sections as well with a center line between those. So we've got three lines now. We've got a vertical and two horizontals. This top one here is going to be our brow line. And this bottom one here is going to be our eye line. There we go. So the first thing I want to do is draw the eyes in here, kind of block out these shapes. We're just going to use a circle and we're going to center it on that line. Now, the main thing to keep in mind, I know there's a lot of different templates and ways that you can space out the eyes. Uh, the main thing in cartooning to remember here if you're wanting a proportionate kind of average face is you want one eye in between these two so there should be an eyes distance between these two and we're going to talk later in this video of how you don't always have to do that but that's kind of the the good rule of thumb uh rule of thumb for doing one that looks like an average normal cartoon character so now that we've got those in there let's go ahead that is and something I've been wondering about. draw in our brows so we're going to use this brow line up top and just kind of draw in these. Now with this set of videos, I'm going to actually go in and do a whole series of these around what we're learning today. So there's going to be def uh, separate videos all about drawing eyebrows, about drawing eyes, hair, noses, mouths, so on and so forth. So if I don't explain this section, and these eyes and, and the nose and everything, uh, super, super hardcore. That is why it's because there's going to be videos focused solely on those sections. So just kind of follow along. This is more for just the perspective and the proportions of the face. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and kind of fill in these eyes here a little bit. So we get rid of our sketch lines. We'll just do a people here in kind of the center with the iris around here. And the main thing to remember when you're doing eyes is, you know, you pretty much want these to be the same size, look about the same way. Um, if you're doing some expressions, you might change, you know, the angle of them. But for the, the majority of it, you want these to be kind of mirrored to each other. I don't like using symmetry because if you look at a human's eye, it's not always going to be exactly 100% perfect. So I do like drawing them by hand separately so that they do kind of have that uh, hand drawn look and doesn't look mechanical from one side to the next. So I'm going to go ahead and put some eyelids in here. And I'm using uh, the, I think it's HB, yeah, an HB pencil in Procreate uh, for sketching. Usually I draw with the, the blue ink and then go back over, the blue pencil and then go back over with ink. Eyelids, but I think in today's video way. doing this kind of traditionally with the, the pencil is going to be a little bit better look through this video. So now that we've got this in here, we're going to go down further. And if you're saying to yourself, wait a second, yeah. this looks really weird. This is way too low on here. These eyes, shouldn't these be up here? 
Well, the thing we're doing right now is we're blocking out the head and this is not the actual head itself. All right, so I'm gonna pause it right here for today. We've done eyebrows, we've done eyes. Uh, I saw a couple of new things that I've never seen before, like the sort of the Y-shaped thing that he does with the eyelids there. Um, I also wasn't sure about the spaces, the eyes width, the one eye's width in between the eyes. So that was an important thing I learned. Uh, I'm gonna pause it here. I'm gonna pick back up tomorrow. Bye guys.